so wait one day she had to like drop the man and then strip him naked it was very very small like he was almost not there safe so whenever he feels like having sex he would like drug his wife and sleep with her like people are really wicked out there like who have things in their body they will not sing town life is too short for you to be playing this kind of nonsense game men who fail me it's only god that cannot feel for four years i mean three years of their relationship the only money he has given her is 5k and i'm like eh all i hi guys welcome back to my channel um today's video is a question and answer one so i put on my ig some weeks back for people to ask me relationship related questions and i got a few and in this video i'm going to be answering all of them i'm not a relationship expert or whatever but i just felt like doing this so why not this should be fun because i got a lot of exciting questions so let's get right into it first question i have is what would you say of a guy that doesn't give his babe money hmm. 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 so this particular question has many answers <laughs> But first of all, like if you love someone, there is this natural tendency to always buy them something or give them something. Generally, just care for them, care for their needs. Not like full responsibility, but once in a while. But if your guy is not doing all of this, I don't know if I should say he does not love you or he's stingy or I don't know. The only exception is if he generally does not have money then that one is reasonable and you should also reason with him then again it makes more sense if you are working for your money or if you can take care of yourself because normally it's never even advisable for you to depend on people for money or important things men who fail you it's only god that cannot fail so yeah it's better that or even if you need help at least have like half of the money or let it be that you put effort and the person is seeing the effort you're putting before you go ahead to ask the person for money because sometimes it can be really really insulting so it's better you just like work for your money and do your shit yourself and it seems like if your guy does not see the need it's like oh baby do you need money for anything or babe are you okay like do you need money for this do you need money for that if he doesn't do any of that i don't know if he generally does not have money even for some people that don't have money safe even some guys that don't have money they ask that question to like show that they care do you get so if your guy is not asking any of this question on you if he's not caring for you i don't know if i'll say if he's stingy or he does not love you i know people have different love languages yeah but at least you, you get what i'm saying i remember someone telling me that the girl was complaining that her boyfriend does not give her money i'm like okay and i met her to hear that for four years i mean three years of their relationship the only money he has given her is 5k and i'm like eh you see that one that one is either you don't love girl or the guy is fucking stingy this is someone that we all know that okay this guy has money if you just think about it it's like <laughs> it does not make sense the next question is are you willing to compromise your happiness for a successful relationship i think your relationship should, your relationship should make you happy and not deprive you of your happiness so if you have to compromise or i don't even know especially if it's a long-term relationship or a relationship that will lead to marriage like it seems like this you have to be really really smart because <laughs> Life is too short for you to be playing this kind of nonsense game. If you ask me, no, I can't compromise my happiness for anything. Your relationship on its own is supposed to be making you happy. So if you now have to compromise your happiness to be in that relationship, <laughs> you choke. No way. The next one is: Is it necessary? Is it really necessary to know everything from your partner's previous relationship? If you ask me, I will say it is necessary. Just tell me, like, just tell me what I need to know. Trust me. No matter how bad it is, no matter what he has done, it's better that you are hearing it from him than for you to hear it from outside. What's the worst thing that can happen? I don't know. But for example, uh, your guy used to roll with sugar mummies before, and he tells you, "Ah, babe." I used to roll with sugar mummy before, but I'm sure um, I've left that behind. And if you guys just talk about it, you know, laugh about it or talk about it, anything, it's better. Now, imagine you going out one day and maybe, let me say, for example, I don't know if they see you that, but use your guy's picture as screensaver. And somehow, somebody sees it, I'm like, do you know this guy? I say, oh, yeah, it's my boyfriend. 
this one with a full of sugar mommy if you've heard it before from your guy you can choose to say oh i know that's his past life or you can choose to answer it anyhow it was outside but believe me you if you've not heard it before and you're hearing it for the first time from that person he he, you will be i don't know Oh, my name will mean anything like something bigger if you're hearing from outside and not from your man then hey <laughs> if it costs wahala so i feel like it's necessary me for me it's necessary tell me everything like just if anyone you remember even if you cannot remember anyone you might just come and say hey babe i forgot to tell you this part so there's this because trust me you, if you hear it from outside you know go sweet and you yourself if your guy hears something about you from outside ha, you know go nice so if i like just be telling each other everything what is your take on sex before marriage for so from the spiritual aspect the bible does not recommend sex before marriage in the bible i think it was apostle paul that said that anybody that involves yourself in sex before marriage is sexually immoral and sexual immorality is considered a sin but then again these days people are like some people that are big on sex for example they want to know if a partner can satisfy them and things like that there was a movie i watched recently the demon within i'm not sure the demon within it's on dsv catch up or you can find it on youtube just search it you will see it this uh, woman took her husband to court she was basically accusing him of rape and people were like how can you accuse your husband of rape mind you this man is pregnant and she was current this man had a child and she was currently pregnant as and when she took her husband to court and she claimed that they've never made love before they don't have sex she had not even seen his nakedness before and people are like how is that possible how is that possible she said that whenever she wakes up that she has a feeling that she had sex but it never happens like the movie was just so crazy so wait one day she had to like drop the man and then strip him naked and according to the movie according to what they said they did not show us <laughs> they said the man's skin was very small like very very small like he was almost not there safe and the man was ashamed of it so whenever he feels like having sex he would like drug his wife and sleep with her like so imagine people that do no sex before marriage like if they, they, they finally get married and they experience kind of thing like it's really really crazy I'm not, I'm not in any position to judge them but I'm telling what the bible says the bible says abstain from sexual immorality if you feel like oh you need to know if your partner is acting or you need to know you're just scared basically like so that nothing will surprise you when you're finally in the marriage then I think you should pray about it because God will not give you something like that if God should give you something like that or put you in that kind of situation is because he knows that yes my daughter or my son can handle this situation but yeah that's what i'll tell you people are really wicked out there like they will have things in their body they will not sing towns they will wait until you're married where you feel like oh you don't want people to say this this about your marriage you have to endure everything people are wicked like that so just be prayerful and abstain from sexual immorality so the same person asks this question what is your take on cohabitation i don't think the bible recommends cohabitation also and honestly in this this cohabiting thing eh, i would just say do what works for you like just do what works for you do what works for you because you choke first of all me personally let me just answer the question me personally i feel like it's me i feel like i don't cohabit before okay so let me just tell you what i think is this cohabiting thing is, is really really broad but let me just give my two cents on it first of all scarcity creates value if something is scarce in the market if you manage to see it the price will go up i feel like when you've seen the person like when you're with this person you're seeing the person 247 i feel like no value is attached to it again there are some people that cohabit for like three four five years like they are living like they are married some of them don't have any future of them being together they've never sat out to talk about the future some people one year some people six months some people two months like it all depends that five six years old i feel like <laughs> that one is too bad you still finish up for you people will basically be doing what married people are doing so when you are married what what's what's what will not be there for you to enjoy like <laughs> other people might say they want to cohabit because um 
you want to see if they are compatible that kind of makes sense because people that do that don't or that did not cohabit they are all good and what have you and when they are finally staying together in the marriage they are seeing some kind of things that uh, i'm not sure i can tolerate some people might want to cohabit before marriage so they can see the kind of person their partner is and see if they are really compatible and see if they can take some kind of things that their partner do like do you get but i feel like if you don't cohabit before marriage and your partner doesn't have evil spirits like the experience during the marriage will be so sweet and new and enjoyable like so if you're cohabiting i just advise that you don't do it for a long period of time because it will get boring people might even get bored of seeing each other like in the same house like that's why some people here, yeah. some married people, they stay together but they have different rooms. Everybody just did their own. They love themselves and everything, but me, everybody just did their own. So yeah, this is just my different, different views on cohabiting. So just do what works for you and make sure you're doing the right things. Shikina. What is the breaking point for you in a relationship? To be honest, every relationship has different breaking points. Like, my breaking points cannot be your breaking point. Some people breaking point might be cheating. That should be like 80%. No, some people some people don't even mind if their partner cheats. So that is every 80%. But yeah, I want to say like 80% of people's breaking, breaking points is cheating. But... Oh, maybe 50 or 40. Well, cheating, lack of communication, like, oh, Imbalance. What again? Relationship is not working. I think you should just let it be because anything you cannot tackle from relationship. Hey, in marriage, you go choke. In marriage, you go choke. For me, I don't even know my breaking points, but yeah, these are different breaking points. Know your breaking points and work on it. Do they work on breaking points? I don't know. Breaking points. The next one is do you believe in equality in a relationship? I feel like, yeah, equality should be there in a relationship, but there are some people that don't even mind. Like do you get some people don't mind at all. Like for example, today I can decide to buy lunch, tomorrow I can decide to buy lunch. But there are some people that don't even care. Especially should I say especially guys? Like there are some people that don't really care. Like if I'm the one buying and buying and buying and buying and my partner is not buying, some of them don't even notice that like they're just doing it out of love. But generally I feel like there should be quality because it's not always nice when things are one sided. So this person just said men turn off. <laughs> I don't like men that talk too much. Like people should not even recognize your voice. Like you should just be fucking quiet. You reserved. Next question. What do you do when your partner gets close to your friend and it makes you uncomfortable? Your partner should be able to respect your decision. So if you talk to him and say, Ah babe, the way I won't close my friend, me, I don't like it too. Shikina, you should be able to just withdraw. Like your partner should be able to respect you like that. Like there should be that kind of respect. There should be boundaries. How did you even get there in the first place? I don't feel like just calling to other ah, people. I don't like this. But don't talk to your friend though. If you can't talk to your friend, you don't fuck up. Because some girls, they are headed. They are really mad as in M M A D they are mad. That's all. Another one, another person said, because I think that day I was like, don't ask anything about my relationship. Somebody said, I have coconut head. I will ask, how long have I stayed in a relationship? I mean, so yeah, I've stayed for uh, five years. So guys, yeah, we've come to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions or anything to add up to any of the things I've said, feel free to do that in the comment section. Please do well to like, share this video and subscribe if you haven't. And stay beautiful, stay fabulous, and I'm going to see you in my next video. Bye. All love,